Hi, I'm Sangeeta Krishnan and I welcome you on behalf of Jagan Josh to this week's video. So first I'll be taking you through the key headlines of the week, then I'll be coming to the main topic of discussion for today. The key headlines of the week are Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches Umang app. The app basically aims to serve as a platform that will bring together all the government services and make them easily accessible on the mobile phones of citizens. ISRO to launch Aditya L1 mission to Sun in 2019. This would be ISRO and India's first dedicated mission to study the Sun. Mirabai Chanu wins gold medal at World Weightlifting Championship. Psycho Mirabai Chanu became the first Indian in the last two decades to win gold at the World Weightlifting Championship, which was held recently in USA. 15th Finance Commission constituted under the chairmanship of N.K. Singh. The Union Government on 27 November 2017 constituted the 15th Finance Commission under the chairmanship of former bureaucrat N.K. Singh. One year of Pradhan Mantri Grami Navas Yojana. The social welfare program was launched on 20th November 2016 from Agra. So this is the topic that I would be discussing in detail with you today. Let's understand what is this Yojana and what does it mainly aim for. The Pradhan Mantri Grami Navas Yojana basically aims to provide a pakka house to all the homeless people and to those living in temporary shelters and in kacha rundown houses by 2022. The houses built under the scheme will have basic amenities including toilets, electricity connection, LPG connection and drinking water supply. While in some states the houses will be built in clusters and colonies, mostly in cases of landless beneficiaries, at other places it would be built on the beneficiaries' land. The government has set the target of building 1 crore new houses within a period of 3 years with the final deadline being 31st March 2019. Among these, 51 lakh houses will be built by 31st March 2018. In order to achieve the target, the Ministry of Rural Development, in partnership with the state governments, has taken a few steps, which includes setting up of a month-wise target to achieve the completion of the construction. So going into the detail of the steps taken by the Ministry, to build quality houses within the given time period, the plan is being assisted by paying directly to the beneficiary's account through ITDBT platform. Rural mason training programs are also being organized to ensure availability of trained masons to enable quality construction. Space technology and IT platforms are also being used to monitor the progress of the construction starting right from identification of the beneficiaries to stages of the construction to its completion. The states have also taken necessary steps to ensure that the material required for construction is available at reasonable prices to maintain both pace and quality. Coming to the progress that has remained until now under the scheme, the target of building 10 lakh houses by November 2017 was completed on 29th November before the set target. The next target is of 15 lakh houses by 31st December 2017, followed by 25 lakh houses by 31st January 2018, then 35 lakh houses by 28th February 2018, and finally 51 lakh houses by 31st March 2018. So going by the current progress, the target of achieving 1 crore houses by March 2019 is likely to be achieved comfortably. So with this, I conclude my topic for today. Please like, comment and share if you like our video. You can also log on to www.jagranjosh.com for more updates and download our Jagran Josh Current Affairs app to stay connected.